Hello, friends. Welcome to Qi Yoga with Lu Qin. Menstrual cramps are not fun, and sometimes they can be unbearable. Today, I will show you a point and a self-care technique that is based on the traditional Chinese medicine reflexology that will offer you great relief. So watch to the end. Now, let's get started. First, the point. The point I'm talking about, it is the Kunlun point, which is located on your feet. Looking at your outer ankle, Kunlun is located between the ankle bone and the, the Achilles tendon. The deep depression is the point location. It is a master point on the bladder meridian, also known as BL60. Use the pad of your thumb to apply gentle pressure and press into the point. Or use a circular motion to massage. In traditional Chinese medicine soft care, we always start with the left side because it is the direction of body growth and the nourishment. We will be applying the 4-9 penetration method, working on the point nine times for about nine seconds, then take a long breath, add another set of nine, repeat like this until you get all your four sets in. If you are in the middle of bad cramps, this point can be tender or super sensitive. So be gentle, but continue to work on it by only applying the amount of pressure you can handle. You do not want to hurt yourself, but there has to be some pressure for it to be effective. Now let's switch side. The Kunlun point is on both feet. Finding the point, stimulate the Kunlun point, helps to soothe the nerves improve circulation of qi and blood, clear away heat, and relax the tendons. And it does so much more. I will list a few. By the way, Kunlun is the name of a spiritual mountain in Western China. It is revered as the ancestor of all mountains. The word Kunlun itself means west, endless. So try to keep this going for a couple of minutes and longer if you like. In most cases, with effective acupressure or massage, usually within three minutes, the cramps will be subside. It might even be gone completely. It is just that effective. So try to massage the Kunlun point every day during your menstrual cycle, during your period, even when you are feeling okay. There's this uh, reflex, lower abdominal reflex area that's on the lower leg. Once your period is over, work on the lower abdominal reflex every day. This will help to reduce the severity of your next possible menstrual cramps. This Line reflect starts from the Kunlun point and goes up along the side of the tendon. It is about 10 to 12 centimeters or 4 to 5 inches. Depending on your height, if you are very tall, push it to 5 inch or 12 centimeter. And by the way, this only applies for women. Guys don't have a lower abdominal reflex. Again, we work on the left side first. Use the pad of your thumb to push upward. Think of using your thumb to clear the bone on the area. The direction is always towards the heart in TCM reflex allergy. Again, apply the 4-9 penetration method. Slow and steady, even pressure to generate heat. You want the heat to penetrate through the skin into the periosteum 
that is the membrane that wraps around the bones. Two to three inches above the ankle bone, there's often a tender spot. Try to smooth through it. Clear that knot and clear that blockage. This is great for women's health. Then switch to the right side. Do this regularly for a few months and you will begin to notice your menstrual cramps situation will be dramatically improved. You will experience much less pain when your period starts and your period will become more regular. This point is very tender on my right side as well. Could be a subclinical indication that something is not right, but it's not serious yet. That's why to continue to work on it, it will help. I'm switching to using my knuckles to work on the zone. Oh, my friends, my lady friends, even you are no longer have period. Work on this area, the reflex zone and the point is this is going to benefit women's health so much. Do use it. Self-care takes discipline. Preventive self-care is the best. So friends, please let me know how, it, how this goes for you. Leave a comment. I would really love to hear after you're trying this for a few months. And if you haven't done so, subscribe the channel. Also share this video with a friend or a family member. Sharing is caring. I will see you next time. Goodbye.